13 Action News reporter Jeremy Chen is live tonight after going over the numbers with a local data analyst on the impact that this money can have to our state. Jeremy. Yeah, Tricia, Nevada is certainly one of the fastest growing states in the nation. And according to the Census Bureau, it's in the top five for population growth. And that trend is expected to continue. More and more people are deciding home means Nevada. The U.S. Census Bureau releasing numbers Monday showing the state growing by 15 percent over the last decade, putting it at more than three million people. We're clearly seeing that in our housing uh, market today, that population increase and that inflow of equity coming principally from California. Jeremy Aguero with Applied Analysis says having more people means more money from the federal government, especially for a state that has been hurt by the pandemic economically. The, the, those dollars pay dividends in terms of jobs, wages and salaries, and frankly, the extension of a social safety net that our, our community really needed. About a third of Nevada's budget comes from federal funds, and it's likely to see more helping pay for schools and roads. Clark County Commissioner Tick Sigerblum says the census numbers need to be used by the federal government as soon as possible. He says this affects things like vaccine distribution, where old population numbers didn't accurately reflect the state's actual need. So one of the things we'll try to be doing in our congressional delegation is to really push uh, the Biden administration to implement them right away because this, this has a day-to-day -day impact. Aguero says he anticipates Nevada's growth to continue with Californians searching for economic opportunity being a big reason why. There's enough people that are moving out of what is the seventh largest economy on earth and coming across the border to the state of Nevada. Their small decline is our large increase and I don't see that stopping anytime soon. Now, the Census Bureau is still putting together the, the complete data, and hopefully in the coming weeks, they say they'll be able to release data that involves race and ethnicity, as well as education. And coming up at 6, speaking of education, we're going to take a deeper dive at how the federal funding that could come to Nevada will affect public education. Jeremy Chen, 13 Action News.